good morning one and all today we are going to discuss about uh, <coughs> bio battery through virtual technology upgrade meeting presented by mr l batpanaban associate professor in pratyusha engineering college so we directly go into the te virtual technology upgrade meeting on bio battery what are the contents we are going to discuss in bio battery is what is bio battery and what is its history working of bio battery need for the bio batteries and types of bio battery and add uh, into future scopes and we'll discuss some advantages disadvantages also when it comes to bio battery so what is bio battery we need to know so bio battery is an energy storing device that is powered by some organic compound usually being glucose glucose in the sense human human blood some glucose is there such kind of glucose were used for using uh, constructing this bio batteries so when enzymes in human bodies break down glucose several electrons and protons are released so using this concept we are going to construct a bio battery usually what is bio battery in the sense a bio battery is known as a device in which the substrate material organic or inorganic compound is going to be converted into electric energy so when it comes to history <coughs> as an electrical signal can induce a biological reaction so this reverse action a reverse action is also true in most of the cases in this way biological process can be used to generate electricity for powering some electrical equipments we talk about this bio in biofuels were the first to be generated in the year 1912 using microbial biofuel concept the first enzyme based biofuel was reported in 1964 using glucose oxidase as the anaerobic anaerobic catalyst and glucose as the biofuel so let us go to the construction of this biofuel this construction says we have a separator above separator there is a enzymes uh, i mean glucose below there is a uh, mediator okay so this hydrogen separate then mean and the separator going to separate your glucose and the mediator the electron movement will be going from anode to cathode through this uh, through this complete cycle the electrons start flowing constituting a current which can be extracted to the load so when you go to the operation of this bio battery the working of bio battery is shown here the black diagram the system uses the flow of electron as well as the proton for generating electricity the photon movement can be occurred due to the moving forces which is known as current as i told already the electron flow can be made from anode to cathode whereas the current flow can be from cathode to anode the bio battery working is here the figure shows there is a glucose the glucose is used as the used in the anode side whereas enzyme is used at the cathode side when glucose gets break down into electrons and proton the flow of photon can be traveled towards the cathode side via separator and the electron flow can be towards your cathode via mediator the enzymes are utilized at cathode side which generates water by photons by both photon as well as electrons traveled from anode side here the reaction of oxygen reduction is being used to generate electricity the above reaction will generate electron as well as photon in the system finally we come to know that is an electricity generated based on the movement of electron flow so when the electron started moving from uh, anode to cathode the movement of electron constitute a current finally electricity is produced and then we we need to know why this bio battery is in existence what why we need this bio battery in the field uh, battery is a major device to convert some Uh, to store some energy by converting electrical uh, chemical energy to electrical energy different types of batteries are used in various electronic and electrical devices as your uh, usage increases so different types of batteries we say the bio batteries one of the main thing researchers are doing to bring out high efficient batteries in the last 5 years they are uh, doing research to come out with a i economical uh, low cost batteries our this batteries contains some certain chemicals such as compounds of lead and mercury this conventional batteries i'm talking about which are highly toxic in nature therefore bio batteries have a greater potential to be used as a sustainable 
alternatives or even replacements for chemical batteries in the future. When it comes to types, we are classifying these bio batteries into passive types as well as active types. What is passive type mean? A system in which reactive substances are absorbed into electrodes through the process of natural diffusion. But we call it as passive types. Active type means reactive substances are introduced by forcing some techniques as strings and conventions. So this system, these enzymes are automatically converted into electricity. So that is active type system. And that active type system, this enzyme, and there are two types, enzymatic bio battery. This type of battery, biochemical agents, enzymes are utilized for a breakdown of a substrate. This is enzymatic bio battery. In microbial bio battery, the microorganisms such as Echerisia coli, electric bacteria are used for breakdown of a substrate. So this makes this active system vibrant in contributing this bio battery. So overall, we have seen the construction, operation, and uh, what is the need for growing this bio battery? In future, we are going to have a bio battery with high efficiency. So researchers are doing research over the generating power, which is going to be used to effectively. So with very bright future ahead of them, as a test production is still going on, and they serve as a new form of energy in future, which is going to be environmentally friendly also. So producing a reserving energy and advantages wise this has a quick recharging capability eco-friendly clean non-toxic source of energy and plenty of raw material available and extremely safe and also portable and lightweight material and when it comes to disadvantage uh, compared to these conventional batteries which are having uh, storage in capacity more but if you take bio batteries, these are likely less when compared to those conventional batteries. The energy getting dried up very quickly. So we have to still uh, we have to do still more research in that to hold the charge for some more time. So this is what we need in future. We have to do research and uh, uh, produce a high efficient battery, which will be used effectively. So as we know, the conventional batteries are having fine application in various areas. We are finding some alternatives in these applications, different purpose medicine and electronic devices. So high performing, stable and reproducible enzymatic fuel technology should be developed. So this is what they have done in the last five years. So we have to scale up demonstration for producing bio batteries which could be effectively used in upcoming applications. So with this, we conclude this virtual technology upgrade meeting. If you have any doubts, you post in common. Answer for the questions will be uh, posted in the next technology upgrade meeting. Thank you for listening.